Hey guys, this is Jonathan Hughes. Sorry I've been away a while. I've been working a shit ton and I've been preparing for some of the big events that are taking place this month all over London, including Brightfest, Backyard Cinema in Camden, and a few other big events, including Summer in the City, which I'm very excited about. But I would like to talk to you about something very awesome that went down last Sunday. So last Sunday, Jackie Kennedy, a good friend of mine, invited me to Camden Town to join her and all her crazy friends for a very special shoot of a fan film called Blade vs. Batman. At the moment I got there, I was greeted by a group of stuntmen who brought all these amazing props, including weapons, weapons, and um, more weapons. Okay, someone brought food. No wait, that was me, I brought food. I went to Sainsbury's and got a tenner worth of food. That's kind of a way to thank them, you know, to say, you know, thanks for having me on set, you know, here's, here's some Walker's cheese and onion crisps, which went like that, you yeah. know. But yeah, I got there and they had these really cool, like, swords and the size and freaking guns and more guns and shotguns and handguns and the fucking gas-powered Uzi, which I just... Which I swear to God, I overused. I got the Uzi and I just kept using it. It's the same kind of one that the Joker had from the bank robbery scene from The Dark Knight. You know, like, what happened to the rest of the guys? <laughs> you know, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, um, I kind of um, used it too much and it, and it ran out of gas and they, they needed it for a scene afterwards. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. So, I'm not going to give you too much details on what happened because hello spoilers obviously what i can tell you is that it is the opening homage to the <laughs> what i can tell you about the scene we did was it was a homage to the opening scene from the first blade movie and what i can also tell you is that i was killed twice so i was playing i was playing a vampire i was having a good time and then you know blade comes in Kicks all our asses. When I say kick our asses, basically get, I get fucking shot with a fucking Uzi, don't I? Because you know that's always fun. But yeah, it was uh, it was awesome. And the other thing I got to do was I got to come at Blade with a fucking katana sword, which is fucking cool. I love that. This journey for me was also a learning experience as well. I met guys who were martial arts experts and they knew everything about not only hand to hand but also sword fighting too. So I just took it upon myself in between takes just to have a chat with them, uh, just to go through the basics of some uh, some art fighting and of course sword fighting. As a matter of fact, I put up a couple of videos, there's an uh, Instagram vid somewhere of me having a sword fight with a dude and uh, yeah, mm. it was, it's pretty awesome. But it was just great just to learn from these guys little basics here and there and it was just a, such a great experience. I've met some of the most coolest uh, motherfuckers on the planet, you know, especially Day Walker Brooks himself. Uh, he's been, he was in the army many years, and he he's a fucking badass fighter. When he, when you see him doing the fight scenes, he's proper going for it, and it, it just looks fucking amazing. So, yeah, one, I would like to get in on that. I would like to actually learn how to do fight scenes, so that one day, you know, I can just, Go to a tunnel room, but like, yeah, what's up, what's up, and then get my ass kicked, because you know that's that's exactly what would happen. Uh, other fun little fact: uh, on the day for the first time ever, I had uh, mascara and uh, makeup put onto my eyes to make me look more goth and vamp-like. Uh, it was so funny. I did a little selfie and I posted it on Facebook, and everyone was thought I was going trance, and it was just it was just hilarious as shit. You know, one minute I've got a photo of me like the, as the Punisher with a big fucking rifle looking to shoot somebody, looking to fuck people up, and then the next minute you just see me with fucking, you know, goth makeup uh, on my face. So, you know, I can imagine people running through my Facebook that day, you know, seeing that shit like the fuck. <laughs> but, yeah, just a great experience. I met so many lovely people uh, who I'm hoping to be working with in the very near future. This has become like a little addiction for me now. This is something that I've really been wanting to get into for a long time, into filmmaking. I'm trying to write a few projects of my own. And, you know, these guys have encouraged me massively to just go on set and uh, just do these things more often. Paid, unpaid, whatever. You know, I, I don't care what I'm used for, 
you know, we've got to get blood all over me. We've got to be a vampire in every for like twenty different roles. Fair enough, you know. But I'll be a victim, whatever, dude. But it's it's all good, you know. It's all about meeting people, networking with people. I highly recommend you do it if you love movies and if you're passionate about movies. Do it one time in your lifetime. Just go on set, be an extra, and just see how they do it. Just see how it all works out. It's just so cool. It's such a great learning experience, and you just meet some really interesting people from all walks of life. Especially when they're pulled from the streets, because that's what we did. We had to get so many extras that we had to pull people from the pub or from the street. Some uh, lady, uh, her name is Paris. She was actually she moved to, from. Uh, because Yorkshire, and her first year, she was just going to do something else, she had other plans, but apparently they asked her to be on set of the film, uh, and she's like, yeah, fuck it, so yeah, that was, <laughs> that was fucking awesome, and yeah, it was just so nice to meet these people, you know, I can't thank, thank Jackie enough for this, you know, it was such a great experience, and I want to do this for a living, and yeah, I've had to make some decisions in my life, think about where I am at the moment, and where I want to be, and now I need to make a couple of adjustments in my current life in order to do this, because I want to do this as often as possible. The day after I was on set, I got invited to another film set, and I'm like, yep, yeah, doing it. So whenever I've got time off now, whenever I'm not making these YouTube videos or not kicking ass online on my Twitch channel, uh, yeah, that's what I want to be doing. I want to be on set. Uh, just learning how to be a filmmaker and how to be a good extra so that I can do this more often, paid, unpaid, whatever. So, yeah, thank you to Day Mr. Day Walker Brooks. Thank you to Jackie Kennedy. Um, to... One moment, por favor. Okay, before I do this, if I butcher any names, just, just kick me in the fucking head when you see me next. So, Jackie Kennedy, Emily... Katja Rubiek, Anjali Hassant, Tash D. F., Anne Chanel Taylor, Damien Hammond, Hammond, yeah. Paloma Valentina, Paul Van Beaumont, Day Walker Brooks, Jay Gam, David Mbisco, Richard Giffen, and Paris Louisa Robertson. Robson, say, fuck. Yeah, anyone whom I have not mentioned, obviously, just uh, point the gun in this direction, as always. But thank you all so much for having me, and I would love to work with you all again in the very near future. Uh, all y'all, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be discussing some of the movies and events that I'm going to over the next couple of months. I've got so much going on. I will be discussing my experience at last year's Fright Fest. I still need to do part two of my adventure from Ventures at Crypticon Seattle, because there's a lot to talk about. There is quite a lot to talk about there. And I'm going to be discussing some of the big games that are going to be coming out over the next few months also. And one of the main goals here is to get my Twitch channel up, up and running so that all y'all nice people can donate to my awesome gaming skills so that I may attend awesome epic conventions and take autumn more awesome photos at awesome conventions. Thank you all so much for having me on set. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe as there's so much more coming along the way. Thank you all and good day to you.